Osemele, two-time All-Pro guard, recently worked out with the Indianapolis Colts, and the Colts need to jump on this. Kalichi Osemele is not going to be All-Pro. He's not going to be this crazy good guard, but, I mean, how much worse can he be than what you really have? Will Matt Pryor or Denny Pinner be any better? No, probably not. Bring in Kalichi Osemele. He has sa he, he, he's a savvy vet, former All-Pro, former Super Bowl champion, he's a guy you need. You need another veteran guy in the offensive line because Matt Pryor isn't it. Denny Pinner isn't it. Denny Pinner is okay at center. At guard, he is horrible. He is horrible. Probably the worst guard in the league. Center, he's okay. But Kalicho Semley, you bring him in, that's going to open up some depth. You're going to have some depth. I, I'd much rather have Matt Pryor as a depth right guard than a starting right guard. Then you have Bernard Raymond over at left tackle. I know he had so many penalties and, and all that crazy stuff, but give him time. He's a rookie. He's learning. I'd rather have him have those valuable reps than Matt Pryor be having a holding call and letting Matt Ryan get hit all game. I'd rather have that young kid or the young player. Sorry, I keep calling players kids. Let him learn. Those reps are valuable. And if he's going to be better, the best way to get better is to put him out there and let him learn. Matt Pryor over at right guard, better than Pinner. <laughs> it's not saying much. But Calicio Semley would be a solid addition to this offensive line. You need to sign him. You need to sign someone. Could you let Chris Reed and Mark Lewinsky go? We've All of us Colts fans have said this a million times. Bring the juice, Lawrence Owen, Col Culture Shack. Uh, inside the horseshoe, we've all said this. It is ridiculous that you let both of the, both of those guys go, and other teams sign them for dirt freaking cheap. And you're suffering now. You don't have any depth. You don't even have a starter. So, you guys, let me know. Are you are you w would you guys be all in for Kalicho Assembly? I would be. You know, it's good to see that Chris Ballard is actually looking or actually trying to look. You know, maybe he's just trying to make us look, to make us be like, oh, he's looking, okay, he's not just sitting back. Maybe he's just doing that. You know, I, I could see Chris Ballard doing something like that. No one's out of the woods, by any means. Frank Reich needs to go. He's not the guy. We all established that. Chris Ballard, willing to have him on a much shorter leash, but I am not a Ballard fan right now at all. So... You guys let me know what you think. What is your opinion on Kalichi Assembly? Do you think the Colts should sign him? Do you think Chris Ballard is a somewhat okay GM? He's a somewhat okay GM. I, I, I would say that, but you get what I'm saying. You know, do you want Chris Ballard gone when Frank goes? And it's understandable if you do. Understandable because it's the same thing every year. You know, the receivers start looking a little better. I think I have a little more faith in Chris Ballard than Frank Reich. A lot more faith, actually. That's not saying much, though. So... Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the JW Sports Talk Show. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like, subscribe, put the post notification bell on so you do not miss any future videos. This is JDW Sports Talk Show signing off.